Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. Today's video is focusing on a micro trend of the minute and that is the color brown. So I touched on uh, micro trends in my previous video and kind of what I feel like they mean to me, they are things that maybe um, go a little bit under the radar in terms of you won't see them as the kind of headline trend of the moment, what everybody's wearing, it bag kind of thing. It's not that, it's more something I feel that is maybe always around and always present, a bit of a classic even, um, but something that maybe is having a spotlight moment at the time. And I'm actually just about to film a short little reel on um, micro trends. So if you head to my Instagram, at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, I think that should be already on there by now. I've not filmed it yet, but uh, hopefully it would already be up by the time you're watching this. So um, as I say, micro trends are these kind of things that pop up that maybe are always around. So for example, at the minute, the color brown is really in the spotlight. However, brown is a classic shade. We always have it around. It's not anything unusual, but it's just really having a moment in the spotlight. And why I love micro trends is because I think they're a really easy, affordable, um, attainable way to feel fresh and on trend, like you've kind of upgraded your wardrobe for the new season without kind of going out and buying lots of new things or um, of really being a slave to the trends. They're just a way of you to give a kind of subtle nod to the trends um, and feel a little bit updated. So that is why I wanted to do um, a video on this today. And do let me know if there are any other micro trends you've kind of observed or you'd maybe like me to go into more detail on and if it's something you want me to kind of share more of. Um, because I personally think they're a really useful way to update your wardrobe because you probably already have a lot of the things in your wardrobe. For example, ballet flats are a bit of a micro trend at the moment. Loafers, again, a micro trend. Bows, hair bows, we all probably have some velvet ribbon in our cupboard that we can just tie in our hair. So they're really easy ways to inject some fun and some kind of slightly more trend-led pieces and styles into your wardrobe. So um, here I'm going to show you ways of how to incorporate brown into your wardrobe. So the aim of this is not necessarily for you to like have all these pieces and apply all of these things, but maybe just take one or two of the tips and think, oh, I already have that, or I could already do that. So hopefully I'll kind of do something for everyone within this video, but I'm not expecting you to go out and do each and every one of these. They're just tips and ideas and hints of what you can already do maybe in your existing wardrobe, or maybe if you think, oh, that one piece will really help enhance all my others. So let's get into the first way I would style brown and how you could do this look. So I think one of the probably more trend-led ways to do brown and something we are seeing a lot of is head to toe brown. Obviously, this doesn't apply to everyone, but if you have a few brown pieces in your wardrobe, think about how you can combine those together. Um, I think it's something we often maybe don't do, putting an all brown outfit together, but I think it looks really chic. It's a really nice alternative to black. It just feels a little bit different, um, gives us a break from black for a change. And I just love the head to toe look. I love head to toe of any color. I think you already know that. I think it always looks chic. Even if it's a bright yellow, I think it looks good when you're wearing head to toe. So definitely one to try if you've got a few brown or tonal pieces within your wardrobe. I've gone for these trousers from Naked Fashion. Naked Fashion always do a really good brown trouser. Um, these are the ones I'm wearing at the minute. And in the cutaway, I've also combined it with this jumper from Monkey. Hopefully this is still available, but if it's not, I'll try and find something similar. As always, everything where possible, link below, alternatives if not. And then this amazing belt from Sansia. This is an all brown belt. I love that um, it doesn't have the gold or silver hardware, so you can kind of combine it with everything and it really keeps that tonal streamlined look. If you are petite, this is a really good look for you. Head to toe one color, especially if your belt doesn't have have any hardware on it. If it's all the same color, it will keep the streamlined eye going right to the floor and elongate your body. So if that's something you're looking to do, head to toe one color, head to toe brown will definitely do that. I finished it off 
with this brown bag from Flattered, some naked brown boots, and some brown Vela sunglasses. So I've really gone to town on this look, but you don't necessarily have to do that. If you've got maybe some brown trousers or a skirt and a brown top, that will look great, maybe paired with some cream boots, even black boots. You know, you don't have to go head to toe specifically brown, but I think the more brown pieces you have in the look, the better it works. And I do think you can combine lots of different tones of brown too. And I'm also wearing my hoops from my new collection with Null School Women. I also just want to say a really, really big thank you for all of your support on the new collection. We have been really blown away by the positive feedback and the purchases. We're just so grateful um, and thank you for the love on the collection. I'm so glad you like it as much as I do. We've got some really, really good pieces. If you haven't checked it out yet, I'll leave the link in the description box. But I'm wearing these. Um, these are the slimmer hoops with the ridge detail. We have some plainer, chunkier hoops as well, which are really, really great that come in. And actually both of these hoops come in silver and gold too, but these are a great hoop to add to anything. So this kind of outfit is a bit of a kind of in-between. You could take this into more evening, you could take this into a smarter daytime look. Um, so the hoops really kind of work for all different occasions. So the next way I would suggest to do brown is by pairing it with dark denim. So dark denim for me is another micro trend of the moment. Again, as I explain the micro trend, it's something that's always there. Dark denim is always, is denim. It never goes anywhere, but it's really having a moment at the minute. So pairing these two together feels really, really fashionable and on trend, but are probably just pieces you already have in your wardrobe, maybe from years ago, that you can re-pull out and, and wear again. So I think dark denim works really nicely with brown, and it's also a bit of a nod to that 70s trend, um, especially with the wider leg dark denim trousers um, from Under the Stories. Hopefully these are still available as well because they're pretty new, um, but I love the dark wider leg. I think it looks so chic with the polar neck again. Think it gives that 70s nod. This is in like an off-white with the brown, but again, you can combine it with other things in your wardrobe. A simple white t-shirt would look good with this. A tonal brown polar neck would look great with this, but I think the cream kind of gives it a pop. And also another tip, if you um, are a bit kind of afraid of brown or maybe don't feel like you suit brown is maybe to put something uh, high neck like the cream jumper next to your face so you've got that lift in your face or, or a color that really suits you and then add the brown into your outfit because I think brown is equally as versatile as black especially in like leather pieces like boots and bags um, so those are easy ways you can combine them into your wardrobe without wearing them next to your face. So with the all dark denim, I think, again, if you're looking for a slightly more trend-led look and style, this is the way to go. Um, I paired it with my clogs, but again, trainers, any kind of shoes would look good with this. And you could combine it with black too if you've got some black boots. So my next look is modeled on what I think is an, I think it's a 90s runway show. I'm not sure which one it is. Saved it on Pinterest anyway, um, and I was really inspired to combine the lighter stony and beigey tones with um, the brown. And again, this is a really good way to uh, wear brown, even if you don't feel like you suit it, or maybe you don't want to go out and buy lots of brown, but already have lots of beige stone, lighter shades in your wardrobe. This is a great way to do it. So for example, I've got this kind of head to toe stony look. I've got these trousers. I think these are from Weekend and Beyond. Marcella coat um, and Francis Story's knit. All together very light. And then my New Balance trainers, these do have some brown in them, um, which I absolutely adore. So it does kind of combine that in, but you don't have to have the brown in the trainers. It doesn't have to be this particular shade of stone. Um, it could be more of a warmer beige. Um, it could be just another lighter neutral. So don't take it too literally, but the idea of wearing a lightish neutral outfit and then with some brown accessories is a really easy way to do the look. So I've just added this Sansia belt in again um, and then the flattered bag and then it just kind of ties in with the New Balance trainers. Um, but just a couple of accessories. You don't have to do all of these. You could maybe just do a bag. You could just do a belt, which is probably the most affordable way if you've not got any brown and want to do this look. Adding a belt in is a really easy way to do that and then you can combine it with 
all the different looks in your wardrobe. So add the belt, a bag, maybe some sunglasses even, just little hints of brown with an all light outfit. It kind of pops out and stands out. And again, I really love that nod to um, the 90s kind of look. So the next way you could do brown is just by getting some boots or pulling out some brown boots that you already have. Um, again, this is a really good one if you don't want to go head to toe brown, if you don't want to go for that full on look. Adding some boots um, into your wardrobe will kind of give that nod to the trend, but also be very, very wearable and classic. Brown boots will never go out of style. Um, these ones are from Grenson last year actually, and they're a very, very dark brown. Again, they don't have to be, they could be a suede, they could be more of a tanny brown if that's kind of the colors in your wardrobe. So think about maybe if you've not got any, what tones of brown have you already got or what tones in your wardrobe? Do you have warmer tones? Maybe you want more of a kind of warmy tanny brown or do you have cooler tones? Go for something like the boots I've got in a more kind of chocolatey shade. But I definitely think the boots are a really easy way to do the look and they go with so much. So I'm wearing it with gray here. I've got my gray jeans on my gray skinny jeans this blouse is an oldie from mango and then naked fashion gray blazer um, but you could do this with lots of different shades and colors with blue jeans with um, black leather leggings you could do it with um, light color trousers lots of different ways you could do it with satin slip skirt in a kind of cream or off-white so lots of different ways you can do this and inject the kind of trend or micro trend um, just by using some boots Finally, let's talk about brown with color. Now, you know, I'm not much of a colorful person when it comes to my wardrobe. However, I'm really kind of edging towards a bit of color this season, which may make you gasp, but um, I'm definitely feeling maybe adding a little bit of color into my capsule minimal wardrobe and colors that maybe are very me and suit me and feel like they kind of or are already a bit incorporated in my style. So one of the ways I would do this is with a burgundy and I love the tonal look of the burgundies and browns together. So I'm wearing this um, Cara Millen roll neck jumper. My skirt is Pixie Market, which is a kind of burgundy brown shade in itself. Brown boots from Naked Fashion and then this leather brown jacket from Jane and Tash. So all together, it's very, very tonal, but I think a really, really nice way to do brown is with burgundies, wines, like that kind of maroony shade, something more purpley if that's you, but I love the richness of those colors together and it just adds something a little bit different to your brown. Again, if you've got these kind of palettes in your wardrobe, you can combine them with brown and maybe think about a different way you can wear those pieces. But equally, I think things like pinks would look really nice with brown pale pink look really good with brown and also all those autumnal colors look great with brown lots of jewel shades things like greens like an emerald green looks really good with brown all those i'd say most colors go with brown red looks really great with brown um, so definitely think if you're someone who has a bit of color in your wardrobe and kind of struggle to pair it, or maybe you always pair it with black, which I don't really think works that well. Um, think about how you can pair it with black. And I think you'll find that you just feel a little bit more alive in the color and a little bit um, more trend led, feels a bit more modern and fresh um, and a different take on color, even though you're wearing probably just some dark brown trousers. It just kind of transforms the look. So just showing you another way you could do this is with blue. I think blue looks so good with brown. So I'm wearing this blue shirt from Pixie Market. I could do this with a blue jumper. And I think all different spectrums of blue from navy to a bright baby blue all pair so nicely with brown. This is a really kind of bright, what color would you call this? It's like a, a bright but dark blue. Somebody, somebody tell me the color, it's not coming to me. But I think this blue with the brown, again, just looks really nice. And maybe it's a way you could rewear your blue shirts that you've got in summer that feel quite summery. I think this shirt always feels a bit summery, but as soon as I paired it with the brown, I was like, oh, this actually feels quite autumnal. So um, brown really does that and makes it kind of a bit more seasonally appropriate if you're in autumn. So definitely think about those colors. You could go for the burgundies like I did, blues or whatever you've got in your wardrobe that suits you. 
think about how you can pair it with brown. And again, that is a way you can wear brown maybe on the bottom with something brighter on the top if you don't think you suit the brown. Um, so hopefully lots of different tips on how you can incorporate brown into your wardrobe. Hopefully some things that you may not have ever thought of that will really kind of maximize your wardrobe and what you've already got in there and, and give you new ways to think about those pieces. So I really hope this video has done that for you. If it has, please do let me know. Um, as I say, let me know if you want to see any other micro trends or if you've got any specific ones you want me to elaborate on. Um, I'd be happy to do that. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not subscribed and have been watching and enjoying my videos, um, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button whilst you're still here. Um, so thanks so much again and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.